シューザオシューザオシューザオシューザオドンキーコングナウウェンタクシリーブラー I just finished watching Rampage, so I'm in a crazy monkey mode. Here, I'll make you a little bit happier. We'll keep you the Oriental way, just like the last set. Because this is another Oriental set, Asian style looking thing. Look at this. Looks very different, huh? And welcome back to Picking Up Scotty, and I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at another set that is brand new from Zingbao. And you know, it's different. It's so cool. I, I love finding original sets and reviewing them for you guys. So let you guys know that this. Is out there and it's available on BreakMeUpScotty.com as one set. So this is Zingbo's Suzo Garden XB01110 A B C D E F. So it's 2,479 pieces, and I guess you gotta kind of divide that by six, so you get the idea it's like three to four hundred pieces per set. Now, I'm pretty sure if you're gonna buy this on the store, it has to be bought as a set because if you buy it separately, it'll probably cost a lot more. And these are really small, but this is what you're seeing here is kind of like when they're all put together. Look at that. It looks so pretty. Now, the most unfortunate thing about this set is that it's just for micro figures. It's not really scaled to mini figures, but I shot a couple clips for you guys just to show you exactly how the scaling and sizing work so you get a better idea. If you like that, that's the mini figures to scale. So seeing all this put together actually looks pretty cool. Like it looks really outstanding. It looks beautiful. Like could be one section of your garden area. However, it's just the scale. Whether or not you're okay with mini figures, maybe you can modify a couple things here, make the chairs a little bit bigger. But you know, the figures are not going to fit inside the temple, so it's really just for a pretty landscape look. I do like it. So if I really had to nitpick this whole set right now, just looking at it, it's the base plate part. It's not really base plate. They're just using these things here. They're like what the Technic pieces, and it kind of looks. Holy, it's a little bit distracting. Maybe you can put little pieces in there and flush them out so you don't see that. And you know, they did it on purpose so that they can connect together. Now you could possibly take these off those pieces and just put it onto a base plate, but you might have to modify a little bit of it. So where do I start? A, B, C, D, E, F. Let's just start with A. So I'm gonna split all these apart, readjust the camera. Check it out, this is letter A. This is Langkang Pavilion. Nice and small as usual. And this one comes with an extra lantern. Now I do want to mention every set comes with these two tiles. They're like a little lily pad and a little tiny, tiny pink rose. You know, they're just kind of not to put on the set, but just around it like that, exactly like that. But um, you know, if you don't want to lose them, you can attach it somewhere on the set itself. Cool thing about all these sets is that they do have a footpath and the footpath connects to each and every single one of them. This was a very easy one to build. And I like the little table on the inside there. You got four stools, nice and white. They have this rock formation, that's pretty cool. The little flowers that you see here from time to time, it's, they stick it on like a faucet piece. I don't know if I really like that. I love the trees, the trees are awesome, you know? You can totally adjust the trees however you like it. And I like that design, like they're on hinges. But look at that, that's so cool. It just makes it stand out even more so. I really, really like that. And you have these, I think these are actually like benches here. Or maybe this one is a fence. Or maybe these are fences. I thought these were benches at first. I don't know, you know, I thought it looked like a bench. To me, it didn't look so much like a wall. Maybe it is kind of a bench wall thing, you know? They were using this piece as a wall, but yeah, I guess you could say that's a wall or a bench. I don't know anymore. And in some of the sets do have these little umbrellas here. The umbrellas are cute, they're just very simple. And that's it for letter A! See, simple, small. You see what I mean? You really do have to buy the other set because if you buy just this one, what do you do with it, man? It's just a corner piece. And if you want to see underneath there, that's what it looks like underneath. Very simple. So this is letter B. It's a Young Koi Pavilion. Young, young boy, Young Koi. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. So you got that footpath again, it goes all the way around the corner. As I mentioned, they all connect with one another. Now there is nothing inside. No problems with this build, it was actually, this one was fairly easy to do. I'm saying that because there was one that was actually kind of a pain in the butt to build. We'll get back to that. It's cool, it's got a second level here with like the aircon vents, decoration, and you got the rooftop. I gotta mention, like I like the rooftop, they were doing that with the Chinatown series, but these ones, because maybe it's because of the color or the, the pieces that they use, it looks almost alien-like. It look, looks almost like a spaceship on the top. I don't know if I like the rooftop parts or not, you know, or maybe I'll change them up for gold, make it a little bit more outstanding. But you know, that's just personal, personal preference, whether or not you like it. Let's see what else they got here on the front. 
You got a table and two stools and just more flowers here coming along the side. And that tree again, awesome tree. Yeah, no complaints, very small build. This one may be a little bit better as a separate build if you're gonna buy one that you don't wanna buy the whole thing and you really, really wanna just buy one if it's available like that. At least this one has like a nice look to it. It looks like it doesn't need to be connected to anything. So this is letter C, this is Jiao Peng Lai. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's like Mandarin, it's not Cantonese. But look at that, this is the middle piece of the set itself when it's all put together. I love the bridge, I think the bridge is actually pretty sweet. I can lift it up and show you underneath there. Jiao. This piece here on the top spins. Why? I, I don't know why it has to do that. I think it's like overcomplicated things. And look, this thing actually splits open like a spaceship. It goes, drrr, drrr. oh, that part fell off. Satellite destruction, drrr, gonna shoot the laser into space. The pieces down here of the temple itself, they're not fully flushed together. They don't, some of them don't really even connect to each other. They're just like sticks or whatever those pieces are called here. They're just linking up to the next round, next round, next round, and next round, and so forth. Just like the wrenches down below here, they're just kind of like not really touching each other. So just so you know, it's just for decorative looks. But I do like that bridge and I love that tree. Again, the tree is awesome. There's your footpath again, and you got more rock formation. So they are starting to repeat now. That's why it's better to buy as a whole. So you get this huge, huge garden. This piece works pretty well by itself, I think. It's not too bad. Let's go on to the next letter. D for doggy, all right. This one's actually in English. And this, it's a sightseeing pavilion. I actually quite like this one. I like the bridge, it's a full bridge there. And I like this little, you know, it's like a walkway path thing here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then here, you have two benches. Again, micro figure size, not too mini scale but the path does continue from the benches over the bridge into the next set. And you have a little bit of blue there to indicate that there is some water under the bridge. And here we go, flip it upside down. Yeah, simple. You got more flowers, a little bit of rock formation, and that tree again, always. You can, you know, that is so neat. You can position the tree like over the bridge. Cool, as a standalone, I don't know. It looks like it needs to be connected to something so that I wouldn't count this as a good standalone piece. All right. So this is E for Rongqi Pavilion. Now just looking at it from here or here on this monitor, this one actually looks pretty good as a standalone. But I hate to say it, I'm pretty sure it was this one that was one of the hardest temples to actually put together. Again, it's one of those things that's so small, they may have overcomplicated it just a little bit when you're putting it together. It doesn't really quite fit flush down and you gotta get really perfect when you put the little pieces underneath here. You can even see the legs missing or it's not pushed in right. I couldn't get it flushed in. Maybe you're a better builder than I am, so you have a better chance than me. And again, how weird is that? The rooftop opens up again. You can stash your cash inside there, close it up, and never tell anybody, and leave it alone like that. All right, so let's just take a look at it from here. It's empty in there, and again, you can't really fit the figures inside. I just didn't like how it wasn't really flushed down properly. And you got more rock formations here. Slightly different than the other ones. We have the same umbrella, and you have this fence again, which I thought was a bench, and the walkway that ooh, you can walk all around this sucker, and the rooftop. You know, it's that gray thing again. I, it just looks so mechanical, it's kind of distracting. That's what I think. You know, you guys think what you think. You're seeing the video. What do you think? You like it? You like it as a standalone? Yeah, does it need to be connected to the other ones? Oh, it kind of looks cool like that. Not too bad. So this is letter F, this is the last one. This is the Han Kuang Pavilion. This one acts pretty good as a standalone. Actually, you know why? Because it has a walkway there and it has a little pavilion temple there. And it has a well here. Look, it has a little tiny well. I'm assuming that's a well. And you have a little walkway and you can go underneath like a little overhead piece there. I like it. This one as a standalone is kind of nice. It almost encaptures everything from the other sets and puts it into one. I do like the temple. It's really simple and small. Can't go inside it. It's small. It's the tiniest one, I think. Is it the smallest one? It sure is. But at least the top here has this little black ball up here, but it, yeah, it still looks mechanical, but it looks a little bit better than the other ones. And of course you got more and more flowers. Wow, so there you guys go. Let's put this all smack dab right in the middle. Okay, so there you guys go. It doesn't come with any minifigures or micro figures, but let's check out the section with the figures in the scale of the set. Here we go. Yo, so check it out. Here we are in minifigure size. How you like my outfit? Yeah, I love this outfit. It's big and bulky, so we can really see if the set is fit for us. What am I doing here? I barely even fit in here. But you know what? 
I do love the bridge. I know, right? I just want to show people, like, look, look at this. At least I can stand on the footpath. Yeah, but look, I, I can't even get my butt inside the temple. I get stuck. Yeah, I know, but this is so cool how they're all connected to each other. We can totally walk around this place. Smell the flowers. Smell those flowers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Those smell lovely. So let's see what else we got going on here. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Now, who is this? It's the busker from the Dunkin' Donuts set, isn't it? Howdy, folks. I have no idea what I'm doing here, but here I am with my guitar. Let me sing you a song. Dude, I just told you you're not supposed to be in the set. You're supposed to be in the other set. There's nothing here for you. I just want to see if I can even get inside the temple. Apparently, I can't. I know, I can't even get through the walkway right here. Dear, how the heck did you make it to the other side? I have no idea, and I don't really care. But the most important thing is, I love this garden. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? It's a very oriental, it's a very different. It is available. All right, you guys. So until next time, I will catch you later. So break me out. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to go horizontal. Horizontal tree. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, we'll put it back up. But you get what I mean, you know? Oops. It popped off. Let's look underneath there. Did we look underneath the other one? Did I miss one? You know, I can. I guess this is the one, the last one that we looked at there underneath. Oh, it's dropping on me. The umbrella. B A B C A B C D. But this is letter B. Check it out. Oh, this is in the way. Oh, I like that as a foreground there. Here, let's just keep that there. That looks so cool. Okay, there. I don't worry whenever skies are gray above. Got a pocket full of rainbows. Got a heart full of love. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this beautiful channel. Join our community. And let's all sing together. Kiss me extra tender. Hold me extra tight. Cause I'm saving your sweetness for a lonely night.